how you can quickly burn. I'd say about 650 bucks. Look at that. On. Oh, no vibration, no hammering action, nothing. Hey guys, it's Vladi here, and I'm gonna show you how you can quickly earn, I'd say about 650 bucks, to put in a new valve like this. Now, this is a mowing valve, they're all pretty similar. Uh, as you can see, this one, you can actually uh, just solder straight into it. I already took out the insides, obviously, because if you're gonna solder with this, with the insides still in it, uh, it's just gonna burn up the insides because it's going to be made out of plastic obviously there's like rubber seals in there stuff like that so you want to make sure you take that stuff out and then you assess what you're working with and start on it another thing that i like to do i like to put in these uh water hammer arresters they are called yeah water hammer arresters now what this thing is is basically when you turn off the water that water's got to stop and the water wants to continue there's a lot of weight behind it there is a rubber ball in here that will move up and down and that will eliminate any uh, kind of like high pressure in piping. And the biggest thing that I absolutely hate is the shakiness or the hammering action that you get when you turn off a valve. So these are a must. You don't have to put them in, you know, in commercial areas you have to do it, but I like to do the little overkill and throw them in as well because then I know it's going to be a super nice, clean working valve. It's not going to have that stupid water hammer action. So let's get on it. All right. So I turn this thing off. Let me make sure there's no water. Right? There usually is still a little bit of water left. So make sure you bleed it out. Make sure when you're doing it, the depth of it, you gotta talk to your tile guy. I am the tile guy, so I talk to myself to know where the valve goes exactly. And you want to center it with the tub, obviously with the drain and all. So next thing I do is just cut it out. So I like to use this Milwaukee pipe cutter. Now this 2x4 is all rotted, so obviously I'll remove that. how long something like this will take. So like this. So usually you'd have this whole wall exposed. In this instance, we want to try to save some of this stuff so we don't have to redo the whole thing. It's already floated. All I have to do is basically float it in this area. And I'll make sure I'll red guard the whole thing so we have waterproof. Um, so I'm not sure what's behind the wall. I wasn't the one that originally floated it, so I'll overkill it to make sure the shower is good for 50 years. All right, so this is basically coming out. One thing is right here. Get that. 
Alright, so I like to solder all my stuff, so make sure you have one of these blankets. I think this is like an asbestos blanket because it doesn't, you can't burn through it. Very, very important to know. So if you're going to do plumbing all the time, make sure to pick yourself up one of these if you want to be a true pro. Otherwise, you're wasting a lot of time. I think it's like a time saver. Blanket. Triples. 
So basically, I got a triple right here. It's going to go on there, and then this is going to go in here. So obviously, we got to put a coupler on it. All right, now got some. What the heck is this called? Flux. That's right. So throw some flux on it. so much of this stuff. I had a jar of these couplers now. I just have like two, maybe three. So make sure you do the insides as well. Yeah, there's a couple of different fluxes out there, and some of them are horrible. They're like super water-based, and they just don't suck anything in. I always wonder sometimes people that make it are not the people that actually use the product. So in their mind, hey, it's good. Okay. Have it on my oh, yeah. Then we still need to uh, let's see. just gotta extend it a little bit. So if I'm up have a lot of little extensions, I'll just clamp it into this and just spin the pipe. marks when you do this help it to suck in and fuse better. Having to solder so many of these valves, I still love it. It's very interesting. Like it's very uh, 
entertaining almost. I don't know why. Make sure you see that flux on there. If you don't see it on there, it's probably didn't get on there good enough, so it's not gonna suck in the solder, because this is what makes the solder flow into the joint. Now, where the flux is, there shall the solder be also. I think that's a uh, plumber's Bible chapter four or something. Not good. Too short. I'll have to make that thing a little longer. It's already nice and done. Also guys, if you have a tub that is not cast iron and it's one of those acrylic tubs, make sure you cover it up, tape it, cover it, whatever. These are cast iron tubs, super strong, I love them. Obviously I still cover it up, but with acrylic, if you drop a little bit of solder in it, you're done. It's going to basically like burn through it. You'll see the paint uh, get all uh, matte color and stuff. I mean, it's horrible. Long. The cool thing about this is that you can cut a little bit off, it's just hard to hold on to it. So what I usually do, take some needle nose. I always have my trusty letterman's with me. You can literally, with this thing, cut off like a quarter inch at a time. Not perfect, beautiful. Probably you can do less than that. I was, uh, me and my assistant, we were replumbing a whole house from underneath. It was all galvanized and we did all proper. And I tell you what, that tool is such a lifesaver. He liked it, I like it. Because you sitting there with a little 
this is what you would usually use, and that just takes forever to look at it. You put the sucker on there, and then you gotta make sure you spin the right way, and you just sit there and spin it, and that takes a little bit of work. Let me just look how long it's taking.
All right. Okay, now we're going to start on those. Also, to make sure that's all pushed out so it's straight. Make it look nicer. Try to get close to I like to show how the solder gets sucked in there. So watch. See, I'm gonna be soldering this one. I'm gonna heat up. Literally just, it gets a lot of it in there and that's exactly what you want to see. If it's not doing that, you don't have enough flux. Or you didn't uh, sand it. Your prep was horrible if, it, if it's not doing that. this make sure the stuff cools down before you get these caps in or you can just spray it down with something so you can have a wet rag that you could do it as well wipe it down polish it up a bit the next thing is we gotta test it. And the way we test it is we turn it on and then I like to take a piece of wood or a hammer and tap on it. Make sure if there's anything that's compromised, we'll show its ugly face now. Steadily. Get that heat. 
bleed out of there. Make sure we turn it, wipe it all off. Make sure you wipe it all off prior to test. You don't want that water on there because you want to see if there's anything compromised. All right, now I need the valve. All right, now since everything is done, we put the valve back in. Make sure this is not hot enough. It's still kind of warm. Let me spread a little bit of water on it. I don't want to burn my valve or get any of this stuff too hot. Okay. Wipe it down, wipe it down. Turn it on the water. And we are going to be. Okay, Max, let it rip! So every house is different, but usually you want to see that it's the valve that doesn't have a bunch of sprinklers next to it. Exactly. So you know which one? See the one at the bottom. So make sure you close the top one first and then that bottom one you open. Okay? Let's do it. Okay, normally I would cap off the shower head. But at this instance, I couldn't do that. So, I gotta make sure. I want to make sure the valve is the one that's doing the business. See better if anything's leaking. All right. So after drying everything out, you want to go through with the napkin, any little thing that you solder, to make sure there's nothing wet. All right. Another thing is. something didn't get soldered enough, it will break. And it'll start spraying. That's very, very rare sometimes. It's like an old, old pipe that you're doing. And you know, the pipe, like a lot of times, it would be something that's down the line, something I didn't solder that would show weakness when I would tap on it like that. So, absolutely gorgeous. No problema, no dilemma. Now, we strap it. Okay, Max. All this stuff goes away. Make sure you put that in the top things, Max. Nice. Okay. Alright, now I've got these. And nails. Okay. 
at me uh, drill bits. There's like a, a, up top where all the drills on the right hand side, there's like a folding little thing with a bunch of drill bits. bunch of like big drill bits in it. strap this up, we are gonna do some green. Green. Oh, I need a level, so I make sure. Four foot? Huh? What kind? Uh, give me the four foot. I just need to make sure this thing's absolutely spot on.
absolutely perfect. This is the way it should be. It's great. That's pipes obviously. Another thing you can do is just bend these in a little bit so that way they stick around the pipes and they fall off. Alright friends, now you can see exactly how this is done. Very quick, nothing nothing too hard about this. Obviously, practice makes you quicker, right? So it took us about an hour to do this thing. But as you can see, we did complicate it by putting in this water hammer arresters. And these water hammer arresters make this like the Mercedes-Benz valve. Because it literally, when you turn it off, it just, just turns off. It doesn't go, it, you don't hear that clunk or the thunk. you don't hear none of that stuff because when the water is not going into the valve as you can see so your water's going up and into the valve and when you turn this off the water's got to go somewhere so a lot of times it'll just pressurize the pipes and you'll hear the pipe go bam so in this instance it pushes up here and it goes into the water hammer uh, arrester i mean just beautiful things these are right there Like I said, this is overkill, but it makes the shower last longer as well. Another thing is it's better on the valves because it doesn't pressurize the seals as much, so they will last longer. Alright guys, thank you for watching my videos. We'll see you on the next one. Subscribe.